Oh, when it all, yeah. it all falls down This the real one, baby I'm telling you oh. I love Shot it all up. Oh, when it all falls down Southside, we gon' set this party all right. Westside, Westside, West West we gon' set this party all right. Your host, Johnny Tech. And yes, what you see before you is not our lovely Palm Pilot operating system 5.4.9 trio, but we got our Windows mobile devices. Why do I have the 1979 uh, Pocket PC HP 2215 and the uh, 700W? I'll tell you, because Patrick J from uh, website, another blog out there in the blogosphere at uh, Just Another Mobile Monday, and I swear I can't say that without just thinking, Just Another Mobile Monday. Oh, sorry. Um, anyway, Patrick J from Just Another Mobile Monday, or Just Another Mobile Monday, actually gave me a pretty good uh, review on his blog spot, but he had a question at hand following a couple of the uh, comments out there. It was like, Johnny, hey, What's the matter? You're not up on the goodness of the Trio 700s, the W's, the Pocket PC operating system. Well, actually, I am. It's a thing of the past, the reason why. Um, great functionality. You could do a lot with a device like this. The only thing about it is that uh, I believe I have ADD, okay? And I don't say that in just trying to make fun or the crutch or something, but. I get lost in what I'm doing, and anytime I can have a device where there's no limit to what I can really do with the device, it's a little too much going on for me, okay? Anytime I can actually create an HTML how-to, um, I don't know, program within a handheld device, and actually just create the files to hyperlink to one another, or I can pretty much just expand this to whatever I want to, and this I'm talking about 1998, expand it to... 512 megabytes and put all kind of movies and all that other stuff on there in 1998, it's a little too involving, okay? Likewise, the same thing that uh, goes to the Trio 700. Great device, don't get me wrong, great device. The only thing that I do not prefer about the Trio 700 is that, once again, it's too involved. Um, for most of my clients, I usually recommend that the only people that should deal with a Trio 700 are brokers or you know day traders or programmers. The reason why is because it's going to give you that real-time access to either concepts of the push email or if you need to do some um, you know if you need to tap into some networks, you'll actually be able to view the networks from a device like this. Uh, you can use such programs as Go to My PC, things like that. Great device, don't get me wrong, just a little too involved for me. Um, and not only that, but for the last six months, uh, well, seven months, January, when the True 700 series came out, um, I had a Mac. And I wasn't trying to use the software MarkSpace uh, to synchronize or to act as an inter interface between my two devices. Uh, with that, it was either, hey, go full, uh, f full steam ahead or don't go at all. So I chose to go with the awesome Trio 700P. Gotta love it. All right. But contrary to popular belief, everyone knows about the new program and the software parallels and boot camp for the Mac. For the PC users out there, I'm going to just expose you to a little information real quick. You probably can fast forward or TiVo forward, whatever one you want to do on this little video cast. Um, I went ahead and took the liberty to spoil myself most recently with some software by the Mac, uh, well, with some software that allows me to interface to my Windows uh, mobile devices. And I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with this uh, software that allows you to get access to synchronize these devices. And I'll give you a sneak preview. Ha ha! Yeah! Gotta love it. All right. Anytime you're dealing with uh, Pocket PC software, Please deal with the Windows uh, XP environment or deal with the Windows environment. You have less problems. Promise you. Gotta love it, okay? Uh, but like I said, in time, now that I'm running the uh, Windows software on my MacBook, we're actually going to try to do some really f uh, cool and fun things I'll show you in the video cast, okay? Uh, probably more than likely today, what you're going to see as a continuation of this, we're going to actually show you MP3 technology and how to get that to your SD card. Something that I've been wanting to uh, show you guys for a long time. Um, and I didn't want to show you on the MacBook. So we're going to show you on this. So uh, stand by.
and we're going to make it happen. Got okay, it. first things first, we're going to talk about the tools that you're going to need uh, with this MP3 technology going on. Okay, let's point it out. First of all, you're going to need a jump drive. Okay, um, I'm sorry, let me stand correctly. This, let me explain what this is. This is a jump drive for those that don't know. This device right here actually uh, allows you to plug it into the USB of your computer, transfer information to it, store it, and you're good to go. You can take it anywhere you want to, okay? And you'll have that media readily available. When I say media, I mean anything from music to movies to files to documents, okay? Let's get with it. It's 2006 going on 7. No one's using the 3.5 inch disc floppy disc or the 5 and a quarter inch floppy disc anymore. Um, no one's even using the CDRs anymore. Let's be for real. Everyone's on this method right here. You plug this into your USB of your computer, your laptop, your desktop, or whatever. Transfer the files to this. Boom. Take this one in anywhere you want to go. Take it to a local Kinko's. Put it in their computer. Print it out. Done deal. Gotta love the USB jump drives. But guess what we're doing next level on the Trio TV today, okay? At a one in a hand dot blogspot.com, we like to take things to the next level, okay? This is what we're dealing with. Same concept, you'll plug this into the USB of your jump of your um, laptop. And again, this will normally be known as a jump drive, a thumb drive, a flash drive, or just pretty much a uh, you know, those names I just told you, okay? So, what we have here, this is SanDisk's Mobile Mate, okay? I love this toy. I love it, I love it, I love it, okay? Gosh, I can't get that song out of my head. Just another mobile Monday. Um, oh, sorry. No, real quick, though, on that, on that point uh, of the Mobile Monday, and you all don't go out and tell nobody this, but Patrick J. picked up my site off of Robert Scoble's site. I didn't even know who Robert Scoble was until I did a little research and I had to ask one of my uh, Flash buddies in the UK, Paul, Polly, about who is Robert Scoble because by him putting one link on my site, it drove 600 hits. Hence, that's the reason why I cannot use HipCast because I'm being charged over for all that bandwidth that I used. So therefore, I'm going to be saving up for a while, okay? So, we'll be doing everything free through Blip TV from now. Blip TV. Gotta love it. All right, here we go. But thanks again, Robert Scoble. Uh, come, to, come to find out, he was one of the uh, Channel 9's video bloggers. Ironically, um, years ago in 2000, I want to say 2001, I was doing some research and I actually um, downloaded one of the episodes. I didn't know that he was one of the pioneers to that, uh, you know, whole video cast error or genre, but uh, small work. Gotta love it. All right, back to the mobile mate. You see what I've done? I've take, taken a simple SD card and put it into the jump drive or into the card reader. Oh, wow, that went quick. Okay, back again. We'll try that again. <laughs> that was pretty cool, right? All right, so we'll put this into the into the card reader just like so okay it has another little slot for like a little mini trans flash or something but you'll put that right in there and from there you actually be able to put that into the USB uh, port of your jump drive or I'm sorry into the USB port of your laptop or desktop computer you gotta get one of these this is probably the greatest thing since peanut butter gotta love it okay so we understand what tools and toys we're gonna be working with today alright so we got that card reader, we got SD card, boom. Next thing that you have to have, you have to have MP3s on your computer, boys and girls. The reason why is because uh, I'm showing you how to transfer MP3s, okay? So, I already have MP3s. If you don't have MP3s, give me about two more uh, video casts and I'll show you how to put MP3s on your computers, all right? But for those who have MP3s, more than likely, it's going to be in your music folder, all right? Let's zoom in on that a little bit, Johnny Tech. Can we get like that? Oh, beautiful. Let's go ahead and look at the left. Gotta love it. Boy, this is a nice camera, man. This is really nice. I'm loving the camera. All right, here we go. All right, so we're at My Music. Let's see if I can get a little better focus in for you guys. Okay, well, maybe not. I'm going to open up my music folder. And uh, from opening up my music folder, I'm going to actually go to uh, this various artists folder. All right? I'm going to open up the album, 
And here go my songs. These are some Caribbean songs. Um, a little reggae, whatever it is. City I picked up. Really nice sound to it. But let's uh, let's open one up and see what it sounds like. Freedom Sounds, all right? Very simple. MP3. Download it to the computer. I'm going to be able to take it from here. Ah, maybe a little salsa. Yeah, cut it up a little bit. Now, I can't use my native uh, Mac button, so I can go down here and do it on here. All right, cool. So we get the point about that. Music. All right, that's done. Very, very simple. I'm going to take my jump drive. Okay. Mm, wow, that's a, not a good shot. Let's uh, show you one more time right down here. I'm going to take my jump drive. Okay. And I'm going to put this inside of the USB port on my laptop. Okay. Ah, okay. I think that was a nice pivot. Uh, we're going to take this and put it right over here to the side. All right. All right, we're going to pull that one out real quick and put that right there. So, you see what it looks like. Just like so, right? And we're going to take that and we're going to put our SD card into there. Okay? So, once we got our SD card, let's move all that out of the way. Gotcha. Better. All right, we're going to put this just right here into the slot. And you'll see it light up. All right? Booyah. Guess what popped on the screen? That's right, a regular folder. All right, that regular folder uh, or this uh, dialog box window is actually asking us, hey, man, what do you want to do? I got this removable disk in here. Um, to your discretion, what do you want me to do? Right now, we're going to open it up. Once we open this up, we have a second window that has popped open. Very, very simple. When I do this, everyone's going to be like, wow, Johnny, didn't know it was that easy. MP3s, SD, Trio, Palm Pilot, done. This is my MP3 folder right here. This is my MP3 right here, okay? All I'm going to do is drag and drop it to my folder that opened up for my uh, SD card, okay? And that's it. Two windows, and I'll go ahead and shrink them up for you a little bit, okay? So you can determine which is which. All right. Very, very simple. Very simple, guys. Have two windows. One of them is my... Uh, this is my MP3 folder, my music folder, and the other one is my SD card folder. Two windows, that's it. I grab my file, and I, I, I grab it. Okay, I can click it, and don't let go. And to, all I'm doing is dragging and dropping. I drop it over here, in this area here. Boom. It actually writes the file to there. Now my MP3 is there. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just show you what file is playing. Okay? from the trio as well. Let's give it a test real quick. Okay. Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> I have no idea what that song is, but they sound like they are really about to get excited. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually uh, pull our SD card out. We're going to put it into our trio. We're going to see what happens. All right, pull this out of there. Put this into the trio. Hmm, let me slide it. There you go. All right, we're gonna go to our uh, home menu, and we're gonna cut the brightness down a little bit so you can see it. All right, we're gonna go to our P tunes. All right, and uh, let's go to open files, or rather, open files. Right there, Freedom Sound. Freedom. There you go, MP3 technology, boys and girls. Like I said, this has been another edition of Trio TV. I'm your host, Johnny Tech. Any questions, comments, concerns? Shoot your boy an email. Let me know. Show me some love. Gotta love it.